Hello, today we're going to be talking about an artist photographer named Tom Kiefer, who's based out of Arizona currently. Here's a picture of Tom Kiefer. He was best known for his work titled El Sueño Americano, which translates to the American Dream which we're going to be talking about in this presentation. Here are pictures of Tom Kiefer in his studio in Arizona. He didn't always live in Arizona. He was born in Kansas and then grew up in Seattle and studied graphic design and eventually began his career as a graphic designer in Los Angeles, um, but then transitioned later on in his career into photography. In 2001, Tom Kiefer moved to Arizona to focus on photography and in specific he moved to an area called Ajo, Arizona, which is very close to the border. So it's an area where there's a lot of culture and a lot of things going on um, that you're able to see more in plain sight if you live around there. Um, in this picture you can kind of see the Sonoita Desert is where um, a lot of people journey through Mexico and on to into America. So Tom Kiefer needed a job in order to sustain himself. So he applied as a janitor part-time for U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And there, um, he worked for 14 years. And surprisingly, it kind of served as like an inspiration for a new photo project for him. Um, he worked alongside people that looked like this, armed guards, um, very intimidating. But um, among that time, he began collecting objects and items that he was finding in the trash. Um, a lot of discarded, unopened food, such as baby food, like this Gerber food. And um, he just began collecting it over a period of 11 years and then categorizing it like this collection of, I think, tuna or chicken in a can, um, some Snickers bars, and these would be foods that migrants would be carrying in their backpack um, and into the United States along their journey. Of course, there's no kitchen or bathroom, so they would have their own, you know, silverware on hand with them through their journey. And then this particular notebook that he found um, dates someone's journey, so it looks like they were in the desert under the Arizona heat for about 12 days before they were apprehended by the um, border agents. But it kind of gives you an idea of like how much time these people are spending outside among the elements of like the sun without shelter, without, you know, um, Li livable conditions and so they're going to want to take their most precious items like their jewelry they're going to want to take their favorite music or um, their rosaries um, hygienic things but also things that they love because you know like they never know if if they're going to be returning back home or if they're going to die um, pass away while on their journey uh, to America, if they're going to be able to see their loved ones again. Um, so as you can imagine, um, having to pack, one, everything you need, and two, everything you love most in a backpack that you need to carry with you for weeks under the beating sun and under all these other dangerous conditions, um, I mean, it can be pretty difficult, I imagine, to, you know, pack lightly. So here are some soaps, and then 
Also, um, migrants will cover the plastic of their bottles, their water bottles, with cloth or rope or paint so that it doesn't reflect off and give, their, give them away within the desert, like a shiny object reflecting off and, um, to avoid them being captured by cartel or, or patrol agents. And then here is a diary that Tom Kiefer found that describes like a love note between someone named Blanca and how they've always been in love with them. And who knows if this person is ever going to see that person again. Here are, here's a collection of condoms that Kiefer found as well, which is interesting, and some birth control, which means, you know, people on their journey bring these things because maybe they know that it's a long journey, they might get lonely, um, they don't want to, um, they want to prevent anything further from happening. And then here's an example of Kiefer using his graphic design background um, to display some of his work. So these are some Valentine's Day lollipops that he's translated and put the text above. And then here's a collection of makeup um, that he's found. Uh, beauty, cosmetics, and then in the next slide, Kiefer uses his graphic design background again and creates a shadow and does an inkjet print of the shadows of the makeup, which is pretty interesting. And then here are some striped t-shirts that he's found, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't realize they were so popular. And then a pile of shoes, which really reminds me of I don't know if anyone's familiar, but with the Auschwitz Museum, there are piles of belongings there as well. Um, and I'll provide a link later at the end of the video if you're interested in seeing um, a tour of that. But I just thought it was very similar looking. So as they go through the desert, um, let's say that you get, you get seen and then agents approach you. This is what you see, like guarded agents. Here's a group of people um, that were attempting to cross the border. As you can see, it's children, women, men, older, younger, and then their belongings get taken, thrown away, and then they get put in facilities like this where they're all separated, family members, friends, um, and then the children are separated from their parents and from each other, and it's really, really tragic. And this is still happening today, and it's still a project that Kiefer's working on today, and so as you can see, and as you probably would have guessed, like a lot of people don't make it on their journey from Mexico into the United States, and there are a lot of skeletal remains um, that are unidentified in that desert, unfortunately, and there are some graves that have been found too. And as you can see, um, it's desert before and after the border, so let's say you make it to the border, you still have to make it past this other stretch of desert, who, who knows how long that could take you, maybe another couple of weeks, before you get to where you're going in America. And then here's some YouTube links I just wanted to provide um, if you're interested in seeing anything more. And then these are my um, sources. Thank you.